In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to figure out the multiples when you have afghans and any projects that are big like this. We have a repeat pattern going on here and many people inquire on how to change the size but also start off with the right number of chains right in the very beginning of the project. Today's tutorial I'm going to show you how we're gonna take this afghan and figure out the multiples together so that you can make it any size that you wish. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we have a pattern. It's called the Bernat Striped Crochet Afghan and it's using a boucle yarn which is really quite nice and thick just like you see here and I want to figure out what I can do in order to change the size of this afghan and I also do that here in the tutorial format so that I can show you how to do this afghan with a small swatch size because I don't need to crochet the whole thing in order to show you how to do it because the, the figuring out of the stitches is actually just one particular row just like this and many afghans are like this. So what are we gonna do in order to figure out how to change the sizes? Well we have to figure out the multiples and this is how I go about doing it. Now in small swatch sizes we can draw the whole swatch very easily with the crochet symbols format but in this kind of idea in the afghans are you really gonna honestly chain 85? Are you gonna write down 85 chains in the crochet symbols all the way across? Of course not. It's, it's just way too big. So what I just do is that I subtract and do not worry about the chain 85 right off the very beginning. So it says here I go right to the first row first and it says two double crochets fifth chain from the hook and which counts as a turning chain and it says skip the next chain and two double crochets in the next chain. And so what I'm gathering from this is that this is asking us to do two double crochets in the same stitch and then we're skipping a stitch and then two double crochets. So here in format what I'm about to do this is how I exactly do it. So I write it down and it told me that I'm doing two double crochets and it said to do the fifth chain of the hook. Well I'm not going to worry about that yet, the fifth chain of the hook. But it said to do two double crochets and then it said to skip a chain from what I saw and it said skip a chain. So there's obviously a chain here and then it said two double crochets in the next. I know this is really crude but this is exactly how I do it. So and then it says repeat all the way until the end and it says uh, in the instructions that there's gonna be one double crochet in the last um, chain. So what I can assume at this point is that it's telling us to do the same instructions all the way across. And I can continue to do that as many times as I want to in order to kind of understand the pattern and I'm just doing two double crochets into each. So it said in the instructions it says uh, go all the way to the two last chains and then skip the chain and one double crochet. So in the last there's gonna be two and it said that there's gonna be one double crochet in the final chain. So that means that there's gonna be one double crochet right at the end. So I can see this is what's happening in the pattern but now I have to go back to the very start and it said in there it says two double crochets fifth chain from the hook. So I would do the first chain. Okay so I'd go um, so I'm going to go um, one, okay, and then I'm gonna, and so that would be my number five. So this will be four, three, two, and one. So I can tell in this thing that this is what my starting chain is going to look like going all the way across. Okay, so then there will be a chain here, chain here, and chain here. Okay, this is really crude I'm telling you but now what am I gonna do? So how am I gonna figure out what is going on in this pattern in order for me to figure out the multiples? So I'm looking more carefully at this and the in next instruction says that uh, we're just gonna chain up three in the very beginning. One, two, three and that said that it counted as a double crochet and then two double crochets in the space between. So there's gonna be two double crochets in between. And then it said to, and we're gonna repeat that all the way across. So there will be another two in between. Okay, so I've got this pattern licked as far as I understand what's going on in here and I can continue just to kind of fill in the spaces to make sense of it. 
and then it says in the instructions that there will be one double crochet in the, the third turning chain. So the third turning chain I just count up and it will be right here. Okay, so now that I've got that figured out, what am I looking for to figure out the multiples on this very first chain? I think the answer is actually two and the reason why I'm looking at two is that there seems to be one chain has the two double crochets and one chain is empty. One chain, two double crochets and the one is empty. So I'm just gonna put an, uh, a line down. These two are two. These two are two. These two are two. And the next two are, so what I can see here is that if I keep going in this format, the next, there's two right here. And then these two, there's two just like so. And what I can see here is that I have two left over over here and I have one left over here. So I'm gonna say that this is also two right in the beginning there. And so I have one left over right here. Okay, this right there. So I have to tell you and I've already figured this out to know this as well is that this particular Afghan in going backwards the way that I did is in multiples of two plus one. So no matter what size that you're going to do for this entire Afghan is that you're gonna go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two until you get to the size that you want and then you need to add one at the end. That's what multiples of two plus one means. So you go in multiples of two and then at the very end of your chain you're gonna add one. Now different Afghans have different multiples. Um, this one happens to be two. Sometimes it's three. It could be up to 20. It depends on the pattern but uh, this is how you figure it out and by starting on this on the first row when there's interesting stuff going on you can figure it out really quickly. The only time you cannot figure it out on row number one is if it says to do one single crochet in each and then the, the next pattern of row number two or three is the start of the repeat pattern instructions. So in that case that's where you'll start instead of starting on row number uh, one if that option is not available to you. So that's how I figure out multiples using uh, uh, for Afghan sizes using a small sample just figuring out exactly what we're doing and using the repeat pattern instructions in order to figure everything out. Until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. Thank you so much for joining me and stay tuned next time for more free ideas and patterns coming ahead. We'll see ya. Bye bye.